Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our legacy. I posted this on my story a couple of days ago and I wanted to see what you guys wanted to see next and legacy won by a lot as you can see. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm sorry that I sound so nasally and annoying. I am <laughs> sick <laughs> but I did want to film today. I've been thinking about this let's play a lot and I've been having a lot of fun uh, making videos lately. So we gonna suck it up and we gonna film today and I'm very excited. I do have Celsius. I have a strawberry guava one. It's already in my little koozie thing here because I didn't want it to get warm. <clears throat> so yeah, let's crack this open. I definitely need it today. I am sleepy. I yeah. Oof. That was a terrible crack. I will not lie. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all the feedback on my most recent videos. I missed you guys so much. You have no idea. And it feels so good to be filming videos again. So cheers to you. Cheers to this video. Let's get into it. I can't taste it. Okay, you guys, here we are back on the Legacy lot. I'm so excited to be here. So I was um, messing around um, on this lot before I hit record just now. And I was just cleaning up some stuff. I was having Zoe use her magic on a couple of the things that needed to be cleaned. But I accidentally just lit something on fire. And now there's this, like, uh, fired spot. And Ren put it out and she's confident from it. But anyway, <laughs> because Zoe used a fire spell, she actually um, completed her aspiration. And became a spellcaster virtuoso. So she is now a very powerful spellcaster. Uh, we need to select a new aspiration for her, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Interesting. I didn't even think about what we were going to do after Zoe completed this. Purveyor of potions. So we could always do the other magic one. Definitely not Villainous Valentine, but holy crap. This aspiration if you haven't watched my uh most recent video where we complete this aspiration go watch it it's one of the most chaotic videos i've ever uploaded <laughs> but uh, i really enjoy it oh here it is here it is here it is here it is spell spellcraft and sorcery under knowledge yeah we should definitely do this one i think that'll be pretty easy so let's go ahead and snag that zoe is currently at work right now she's working hard she um she had her 14 breakthroughs which is amazing so fingers crossed she gets promoted today and then we've got ren here who uh is about to go you know take care of the garden as she does <laughs> she's got a uh gig tomorrow at 9 a.m and um that should go well because she did all of her prep ta prep tasks which is amazing and then as far as her skills go we were working on knitting for her uh, she's about to get stung by bees. Oh my god, that's so loud. Holy crap. Anyway, yes, supercell the plants, love. Supercell all these plants. I'm hoping that my game runs smoother now that we only have two sims. I can't believe it. It feels strange. It feels so strange having such an empty house. But it feels real good, too. It feels real nice. <laughs> a lot less stressful. I don't really know why we gave Ren this master actress uh, aspiration. It's like way too hard and we have to focus like way too much on her. So, wow, this vampire family aspiration is pretty crazy. Definitely can't do that one. <laughs> we should do Renaissance Sim. It's kind of perfect because we are trying to get all of her skills up. So let's go ahead and do this one. I hate that she has to read books though. <laughs> my Sims never like to read books. And Stella has four, no, not Stella. Oh my God, I need to learn to not call Zoe Stella. I do that way too often. Yeah, let's go ahead and spend her talent points. I want to finish the magic tree for her as well. So we're going to work on that. Yes, who's calling Ren? Who is it? Um, hmm, rank five tech guru? Maybe, maybe later. Maybe in an another time. <laughs> oh my gosh. K is an elder. Holy cannoli. She's going to die soon. Oh, that's so sad. What is happening here? Why are you still chilling? I thought you were done. Go home. Go. Have a good one. See ya. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I moved, uh, I got rid of the kids room and I moved Zoe's little lab in here. Um, yeah, it's pretty cute. I like it. It's, it's very clean and simple. Love the plants and everything. Uh, her degree is here on the wall. 
Yeah, it's just a nice little lab, so she doesn't have to go all the way to the guest house to experiment and all that stuff. Um, so I don't think that Zoe has had her wish from the wishing well yet, so we want, so we're gonna want to do that too. Um, so we can either wish for happiness, we can wish for simoleons, we can wish for skills, youthful vigor, a child, or a promotion. I feel like wishing for a promotion would kind of be a a waste of a wish, but I can't really think of anything else that I would want to wish for. We have plenty of money. We're gonna have a child with Lamar, hopefully. Um, we could wish for skills, but who knows like what skills we're gonna get. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's tough. It's tough. I just want her to come home so that we can like continue continue the story. Well, let's look at the calendar as well. Oh, tomorrow's Harvest Fest. So we do have a little something to celebrate and then the day after that is oh my gosh, okay. The day after that is Zoe's birthday. So she's going to be an adult, a full-on adult. How many aspiration points does she have? 5,000. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's spend those because I don't really see a point in saving them unless there's something really expensive that we want to use for Zoe. Okay, she's home and she got promoted. Yes, finally. Finally, we are level eight. Two more promotions and she's already maxed her career. She's already maxed her career, her aspiration, a couple of skills. We are on a roll in this gen, which kind of surprises me because we've had so many Sims in the house and there's just a lot going on. We were still able to get it done. So we got uh, a bonus, some new clothes, and we work Monday through Friday. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and spend these aspiration points, I think. Let me just go to the bottom and see if there's something that we want to save up for. So she already has entrepreneurial, incredibly friendly, and savant, and night owl, and morning sim. Wow. She's got a lot. It's like we don't need these never weary, forever full, forever fresh things because we have our potions and plentiful needs. <laughs> we don't need any of that stuff. Let's get her carefree. She'll never get tense. She's pretty tense right now, so let's grab that. And then let's save up for connections as well. So let's go ahead, have a potion. <laughs> She's in a crappy mood. We have almost 50 of them. We're set. We are good, you know? We're chilling. Let's get you out of your work outfit, and then what do we want to do? What do we want to do? What do, what do you want to wear? Mm, so cute. Do we have any mail? Let's get the mail. And what else? What do we need to do next? We end up 16 breakthroughs. Okay. So you know what? I think I am going to wish for promotion. Let's make an offering of $5,000. And what do we get in the mail, by the way? A Wolfium. But why? Oh, wow. And a lot of toys. Okay. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of these and just <clears throat> sell them. There's no kids in this household anymore, so we don't need them. <laughs> if you guys don't know about this well, this is from the Romantic Gardens pack or whatever. And uh, you put some money in there and then you make a wish and sometimes you get it and sometimes you don't. It really depends on the what kind of facial expression this dude right here is making. Uh, what do you have to do? Dancing. No, 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 honey. I need you to make a wish for a promotion, please. One less promotion to worry about. Let's see if you get it. I'm a little, I'm a little worried. Boogie. Yes. She's getting a phone call. Oh my god. Wait, Mad Sun, is that level nine? Yeah, that's level nine. Okay, cool. <laughs> awesome, fantastic. Great, two promotions in one day. You love to see it. Yes, you do. This is your workplace calling. We have urgent news to share. Your boss won the lottery and immediately walked out mid shift. We need to rapidly fill the vacated position and we think you're the right woman for the job. Congratulations on the promotion. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. So now we need to have Four more breakthroughs before we go to work again. Um, so let's just practice our analysis as per usual. Ain't nothing new there. And then for this aspiration, she needs to know three different spells. We already know three spells. Are they like three new spells? And then cast a spell on another sim. Okay. Actually, 
No, I think she does only know one spell. She's been focusing on her, uh, he yeah, she's been focusing on her alchemy, and yeah, she only knows one spell, and it's the fire one. <laughs> so we do need to work on her, her spells. Uh-oh, why does she have an angry mood lit? What's this from? Loud music? Where? I think this thing might be bugged. Can I reset it? Still blasting? Okay, okay, fine. She actually is quite the mad scientist, staying up all night experimenting in her lab, <laughs> never sleeping. <laughs> Luna's here. Hi, hello, give family advice. I don't really know what that means, but it looks like she had her children, which is exciting. It is Harvest Fest today, so I do want to uh, have a little bit of a family gathering. Oh my God, the gnomes. Um, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pop y'all outside for a second. Uh, let's see. Let me, um, let me just put some candles out. I'm gonna decorate just a little bit. I'm looking for a festive centerpiece, but apparently those don't exist or I just don't know where to look. I know that there's a cornucopia in the game. I just don't know where to find it. Ah, here we go. Horn of plenty. Horn. Oh my God, it's massive. I just, uh, size you down a little bit. Boom. Okay. Yeah. I mean... It's, it's kind of cute. I'm not complaining. Also, I would like... I would like a like little bar cart in here so that I can hire a mixologist. Hopefully they'll stand... Actually... Should we get the globe? Because I know that we can serve drinks straight from the globe, which would be handy. Yeah, let me just snag this one. We'll see how that works out. And then what else do we need for Thanksgiving? I want to say that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and add an event for the day. Uh, can, I, can I even do that? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a dinner party. Let's have it at 5 p.m. I feel like that's a good time. Um, and then right now I need you to start cooking because it's probably going to take 800 years Everything takes 800 years in this freaking let's play. <laughs> um, let's just have a classic turkey dinner. I wish Ren was here so she could make a pie or something, but it's fine. So we will do it. Look at, look at her. She's in her own house, cooking her own meals. Uh-huh, uh-huh. A whole cutie, am I right, guys? Yeah, make it that turkey. Make it that turkey. And then let's uh let's also cook. Hmm. What else is very classic Thanksgiving? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are the pies? Pumpkin pie, obviously. Oh my gosh. Bye, Luna. We'll see you later for dinner. Cooking level nine? We love to see it. And there's no one here to grab a serving. So we can just leave it out on the counter and not have to worry about it for once in our life. Holy crap. Come on. You only got an hour and a half to make this pie and get changed. Where are you going? What are you doing? Honey, we don't have time for this. Oh, the pie is baking? Where? Where's the pie? Where did the pie go? What the? What is happening? She went upstairs, grabbed a pot of de-stressing concoction, put it in the oven, and then pulled out a pumpkin pie. Sims logic. Let's start. Everything's ready. We've got turkey. We got pie. That's really all we need. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this here, and put this over here. I wonder. It's not decoratable. Um, ah, uh, you're 70? I don't know about that. Why do you- what? Okay, hold on. It's just- what is happening? My game is so is on one today. Um, let's Oh, this is very very Harvest Fest. I love it. I love it. It's perfect. Okay, now let's put on some let's see, some classical. Uh-huh. And pour drink platter of uh hmm. Let's do the expensive stuff. Let's do some cherry sap. Lovely! Zoe, you're such a good host. You got a beautiful dinner on the table. Some lovely tunes playing. You're about to serve up some... Some expensive beverages. We love it. We love to see... Oh, yes. Beautiful. Wow. 
Uh, where is everybody? So let's just go ahead and call to Grandmiel. Holy! That is Lilith. Yes, come and eat! Come and get it, everybody! Hopefully there's enough. There's definitely more than eight people in my family. <laughs> All right, let's see who showed up. We got, I think that's Colby or, oh, Colby, William, Colby or William. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure that's William, maybe. I don't know. Ooh, holy moly. That's what I like to see. Yes, yes, straight for the pie. I, I feel it, I understand. Where's everyone else? Okay, they're coming, they're coming. Oh shoot, Lilith, why did you eat food? Disgusting. Hi, Kay! Little Miss Elder. Oh! What's wrong? There's Melissa! Oh, is it too loud? Is everyone freaking out because the music's too loud? That's fine. Medium. Or should we put low? Eat, everybody! I think that this stereo might be glitched. Hi! Hello! Where's mom? Oh, nice, Ren. Rising star. We love to see it. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Gregory. Hi, Lamar. Come over here and say hi to him. Haven't seen Caleb in a while. Why is everyone acting so awkward? Talk! Hello! Aww. Too cute. Okay, I really do think that this stereo is broken, so let me, um, let me just put it in our inventory for now and see if that, like, calms everyone down. Oh, you carumba. Okay, everyone's chilling now. Everyone's vibing. Well, it's good to see- oh, Wow! Are you kidding, Rathio? Did I not teach you anything? Someone forgot to invite Stella, so I went ahead and called her. <laughs> Ooh, look at you! Felix looking nice. Aw, Kieran's here. Everyone came. It's exciting. Hi, Mom! Ah. Man, I miss I miss everyone so much. Oh yeah, sing it. Do you guys remember that period of time where Ren would flirt with every single male that came through the door? That was exhausting. Pie time! Stella, it's not even that dirty in here. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I can't be perfect. Well, this was a pretty successful Thanksgiving, I'd say. Definitely not spicy whatsoever, but, uh, you know, it's just like cute, wholesome family time. It's time to go. I've got work in the morning. I'm an adult now. Goodbye, everyone. Love you. The only thing we didn't do was the gnomes. Oh, what are you begging for? Can I sleep over, please? <laughs> so, Ren, did you have a good night tonight? Was it fun seeing everybody? No! 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 I was not prepared for this! I was not prepared for this in this episode! No! Well, the only good thing about this is we'll have her gravestone on the lot because she died on the lot. So, other than that though, I'm not happy about this. I'm so not. No, baby Stella. Oh gosh. The finger, every time. She looks peaceful though, I'll give her that. Oh man. I didn't want to do a slideshow. Are we doing a slideshow for Stella? Should we? I'll have to look and see if there's enough screenshots for one, but no! Now Harvest Fest will always be known as Stella's death anniversary. Hello? Has no one noticed? 
Oh, well, there he is. No one's gonna cry for her? Guys. Rest in peace, Stella. An absolute icon. Why you gotta drag it on for so long? Thank you, sir. Spellcaster urn and everything. God, what? It's so noisy here. It's so noisy. Someone just is deciding to mow their lawn right now. You'd think that the city would be more noisy, but no. This small town. All right, in the graveyard you go. Our second spellcaster headstone. And... She, I don't, okay, there it is. I was like, why are you not, oh, you guys are just gonna kick a soccer ball around? Why is the ghost of Tina Tinker on our computer? You guys. You need to talk about the loss of Stella. Console about death. Let's do that. I'm not even gonna attempt to have a funeral for Stella because we all know how the last funeral went. <laughs> Not about to have a repeat. It seems like she's taking this very well. Like, she's sad, but she's not sad about it. It's like she already came to terms with it or something. Rest in peace, Stella, my love. I can't believe she died on the law. It's like she waited. She waited until she was back. She waited until Harvest Bus was done with and celebrated. And then she was like, okay. This is a good time for me. Why is the ghost of Tina Tinker getting drunk at our house? Okay, so I'm thinking... Actually, no, I'm gonna ask you guys. Should we ask Lamar to move in already or should we wait? Because Stella, maybe after her birthday, maybe after she ages up into an adult, which, oh God, her birthday is today. What are we gonna do for her birthday, guys? Oh God. I'm... I'm leaning towards going out, like going to a massive like nightclub or some kind of dance event and dressing really, really nice and like inviting all of her friends and not really her family and kind of just getting like completely blasted, you know? I think that would be a nice send off to her young adulthood and then once she ages up into an adult, we can really... We can, you know, focus on the adult stuff in her life, like getting married, having kids, focusing on her relationship, all that stuff. 
But <clears throat> with Stella, no, with Zoe, um, I really feel like she would only have one kid. So yeah, we're just gonna focus on the one babe. If it's not a boy though, then we're gonna have to have another kid. So we'll see how that goes. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go over to Manage Worlds and I'm gonna find a banging venue on the gallery and place it somewhere so that we can go out tonight with our friends and we need to pick an outfit for her and Ren. I'm so sorry if you can hear my family yelling. They are uh, watching football. Anyway, and I think it would be fun to coordinate Zoe's outfit around how the venue looks. This one looks really, really cool, but I'm like concerned about the, um, I'm concerned about the, the insects. Let's just, ha let's have a look at it. Oh, wow. This is definitely something. I like the skeletons. Let's see what's upstairs. I think I might delete the door to the basement because I don't want any of my sims to die. Ooh. Okay, okay, this is awesome. I love this dance. Oh my god, wait, this is cool. This is so cool up here. I absolutely love the layout. Okay, yeah. Let me um look at the basement really quick though because that's like what I'm concerned about. Oh, whoa! Hang on. Oh my god, if we're like coordinating an outfit around this venue... This is absolutely gorgeous, but what... What plants are the Sims dying from? This is by... Kali, Kali Sunshine. Oh, it's unusable in game. The jungle adventure plants makes your sim get attacked by bugs. Really love this basement area. Um, but I also really like this upstairs. Like, I think we should just hang out up here. I'll delete the door down to the basement. Um, just so that the sims don't go down there, unfortunately. Okay, all right. So we found our venue, which is amazing gonna make her a cake don't let me forget i need to make her a cake <laughs> uh and then pick her out a little bit, pick out an outfit for her and then we'll go that should take all day maybe we should take a vacation day she gets off at seven i can have ren make her a cake yeah she should probably go to work we need that last promotion yes darling yes darling yes darling what time are you off 7 p.m yeah yeah, that'll do. I'll, I've said it once and I'll say it again. I wish you could put candles on pies. <laughs> I think a matcha tea cake suits uh, Zoe's aesthetic. What do y'all think? Oh man, I hate when she ignores me. Let's try Ren. Ren, do you feel like making a cake? Or are you gonna ignore me too? Okay, looks like she's doing it. Wow. Thank you so much for listening to me. Aww, I heard it was someone's birthday today. I brought a cool gift. Can I come in? Of course you can. Hello, why didn't you, why aren't you making this cake? Oh my God, why is the only option to clean up? All right, come, come invite him in. Come on. Your brother brought you a gift, let's go. What did you bring me, brother? What is it? What is it, what is it, what is it? Oh my God, how cute. How cute. What did you give me? <laughs> Anti-lift balloons? He gifted us balloons? Okay. Have a lovely day today, Zoe. And when you get back, we'll figure you figure you out. Figure out a lovely birthday outfit for you. Actually, we can technically do that now if we go into cast with Ren. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's pick out the outfits right now. Yiff it to me. Yiff it to me. Mm. Yiff it to me. Go. Yeah, for mm, mm. I mean, that's pretty dope. I will not lie. I like this a lot. Ooh, what about this? In like a funny, uh, not funny, like a, a cute pattern. 
I want to save the best outfit for Zoe, obviously, but I want Ren to, to look cute too. In case you guys haven't noticed, I love a good matchy-matchy moment. This makes me very happy. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. Dude, she looks like a 70s princess and I'm here for it. No, I found it. This is it. This is it. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. Okay, Ren, you're ready. You're ready for a nice night out. Let's move on to Zoe now, because I have a feeling this is going to take me 800 million years. <laughs> um, So this is her current party outfit, which I think is so cute. But <clears throat> I would like to do something a little over the top for this special day. I mean, I love a good jumpsuit. I do. Dude. Crazy. Insane. This looks so good on her. Oh my gosh. And it fits the theme. It totally matches the venue. But which swatch? I'm torn. I'm torn between this and this. I think I'm gonna have to go with this one. Do you want to wear your glasses tonight? Mm, let's do a no glasses night. You don't want to lose them. Oh, wow. She has bangs, though. So we need to find one with bangs. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's really cute. That's the right color, right? Oh, no. Her hair is, like, actually a lot more yellow than I thought. Okay. Got a little Z necklace. A little moon earrings. This eyeliner is actually pretty sick. Oh, man. And what if we turn down the opacity on that a little bit? So it's kind of like a pastel... Oh man. Oh man, that's really cute. Blue is just her color. Yeah. Blue's so cute. Let's give her some fingies. She doesn't strike me as someone who would have long nails. So I'm just gonna give her some short little stubby ones. Okay, darling. You are ready for your little birthday outing. I cannot wait. She matches the venue very well. Bunch of people from this Let's Play. Should be aging up soon. So I'm thinking that we're gonna do another uh, legacy makeover video, which would be fun. Or maybe I'll stream it and then edit it down into a video. Kill two birds with one stone. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the, uh, the Villainous Valentine video. That was a stream that I edited down into a video. And the feedback that I've gotten so far is pretty positive, so I'm stoked. And if you ever wanna come to a stream, my Twitch name is SimSav and um, if you want to participate in more polls that have to do with my Les Plays, make sure to follow me on Instagram because I do post them on my story sometime. sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, look who's here. Miss Reagan. Hello, love. Oh, she's going to read in the graveyard. How cute. Yes, who's calling? Oh. Right, she needs a new audition. Tournament of Honor. Why not? Hopefully she has a better attention span than I do when reading. I'm the type of person that will like read a whole page and then be like, what did I even just read? And then I have to go back and read it again. I have to like read the page three times before I can fully absorb what, what, what it is I'm reading. Oh, she's gonna go knit. Okay, that's fine. You can work on your asper or your knitting skill a little bit more. A very iconic bean, a VIB, you know what I mean? Hi, Patch. Oh, Reagan, I didn't know you were in the military career. What's up, Ren? I noticed your name has been all the buzz. Wait, who is that? Who are you? Hold on. You re I'm you're familiar. Thomas Ward! That's right, Kingston's son. I remember now. Well, he's trying to clout chase. He sees Ren being all famous and is like, What's up, girl? What's up? Let's be friends. Ren knitted some socks. How old are you? You're an adult, okay. You look really small for an adult. I mean, no shade, I'm just, you look like super short. What are you taking photos of? Please stop, this is our house. All right, I mean, I guess we can do some yoga with you. I don't see why not. Okay, he's gonna stop. Let me show you how it's done, Thomas. Check it out. In, out. Bend, and snap. Is it seven o'clock yet? 
The knitting skill takes forever. Usually Ren can bang out skills like nobody's business, but like this skill is taking forever. I don't like it. Oh, she's back. Okay, it's time. It's time. It's time. It is time. Oh no, she's feeling sad from 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 her mom. Okay. Uh, well, darling, well, nothing can't. a potion of plentiful needs can't fix. Let me uh, slip one to Ren as well. And yeah, we gonna plan a social event. I'm very excited. I hope this goes smoothly. Oh my god, Colby aged up. All right, yeah, they need makeovers. Should we invite Paul? I think we should, and I think we should ask him to be just friends. Okay, we're here. Let's get you in your new outfit. Ren is having a crisis for some reason. Oh no, I forgot the cake. <sighs> just... Just ignore me, okay? Ignore me. Ignore me. Just pretend like that's not here, okay? I'm not taking my eyes off you until this cake is done. So I would really like if everyone hung out upstairs, up here, because this is this is where it's at. Kind of want to delete this one so that they don't DJ here and that they DJ upstairs. <laughs> wow, how control how controlling can I be? All right, cake in Ren's inventory. I can count on her to. Why is everyone coming over here? There's no cake. What are you talking about? What the heck are you doing over here? You're just introducing yourself to William? Okay, well... No. Let's go upstairs. Let's, let's... Let's, uh... Dang it, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. People aren't hanging out up here because everyone's down here. Oh well, I guess it'll have to do. Okay, what do we want to drink tonight? What's this? Christmas holiday drink? No, 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 it's not Christmas. I'm gonna get her... Let's get the coconut, the most expensive thing on the menu. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go, time for a birthday drink, let's go. Time for a birthday drink, hello everybody, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Where's my coconut? I want my coconut. Where is it? There it is. Why are you sitting by yourself? Oh, thanks for sitting with me. Why are you getting up? Chat with Kiki, chat with Millie. Okay. Over here. Okay, okay. Who are these lovely ladies? Wow, look at this cool kid's table. Let's see what else is going on around here. I mean, this is pretty cool. There's a lot of, like, nice-looking sims around. Maybe we should thank our family members for coming. Where's Lamar? Let's get this out of the way and ask Paul to be just friends. I don't know why Lamar didn't show up. Oh, he's right here. Aw, he's so awkward. Let's thank him for coming. All right, come on, Zoe, we've got things to do. If only my game worked like it was supposed to, this would be so much better. Well, we better age up before uh, <laughs> before she ages up on her own, because it's 2.30 already. All right, darling, come over here. Let's make a wish. All right, here she goes. Right in the middle of the clerk. Where are you going? Who does Ren think is attractive? Caleb! Well, obviously, we knew this. Oh! Okay, she just had to hug him first. Interesting. Alright, here we go! Here we go! Oh my gosh. Yes! 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 This is what I'm talking about, baby. Everyone in this bar. Oh man. Wow! That's definitely what she deserves. Holy crap. Even though. <laughs> even though the rest of this day didn't really uh, 
go well. Oh my, yeah, girl. Adulthood suits you. It does. So cute. Oh, where's she going? Oh, there's a headliner. Let's go. Finally. That was it? Are you kidding me? Okay, we need to ask him to be just friends. Who turned on the TV? Yeah, we should just be friends, okay? Okay, cool. <gasps> we got a ghost headliner. Oh my god, okay. Uh, you kind of suck. No one's vibing to you. I can't believe this guy was $250 to hire. I guess this is what you get for 7 a.m. Ren, are you stumped? Come on, this is a dance battle. <gasps> oh my god, you are so extra. Oh, oh! She broke her back, she's old! Oh, you poor babe. You poor babe. Oh! She's like, how am I supposed to top that? No offense, bro, but this DJ is awful. Oh man. All right, well. I would say that was pretty successful. You should probably pay attention to Lamar. He's looking real sad. <laughs> Stella's looking real satisfied back there. He got Felix's hamburger head. Oh my God, Judy pregnant. Judy and Kiki both pregnant. Uh-oh. All right, well, let's go ahead. Let's end this party. Let's head home. Holy crap, look at all these people saying goodbye. See ya. Yep, thanks for coming. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye-bye. See ya. Oh my god. Not every single person needs to, to individually say goodbye. But okay, I'll just let it happen. Well, guys, I would say that was a very successful... Uh, a successful episode. I think we're gonna leave it right here in the next one. Definitely want to ask Lamar to move in with us and figure out his career situation. So if you guys have a, any suggestions about like what you think Lamar should do for a living, let me know. I want it to be um, something along the lines of like doctor, lawyer. Dang, I would totally take that astronaut job offer if I wasn't trying to max my current career. <laughs> So hopefully we can do that in the next episode as well. Finish off her career. Finish off this aspiration. And yeah, who knows? Maybe even get pregnant in the next one. Oh my god, another cake. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge for now. Oh yes, enjoy that grilled cheese after a long night. That actually sounds really good. I might have a grilled cheese as well. <laughs> oh, look at her. This house just suits her so well. Such a cutie. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.